Hello, my name is Vanessa. Uh, welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me. So in this lesson, I'm going to discuss a primary four question, and and this I would say it is best solved using the the model approach. Let's take a look at this question. Ribbon A and ribbon B each consists of a blue and green part. Ribbon A is 70 cm shorter than ribbon B. The green part is 24 cm longer than the blue part on ribbon A. The blue part on ribbon B is 18 cm longer than the blue part on ribbon A. How much longer is the green part than the blue part on ribbon B? So bear in mind, in this case, we are just asking, I mean, the question asks, for the difference between the green part and the blue part on ribbon B. Okay, so in this kind of question, it's very lengthy, so we have to break them down into smaller parts and attack them part by part. Let's take a look at this question, how it can be easily solved. So let's see what are the questions or what are the information that we can derive from analyzing each of the individual sentence. So let's take a look here. The first sentence, okay, basically both would have blue and green parts. So ribbon A is 70 centimeters shorter than ribbon B. Just draw the model. So B is longer than A by 70 centimeter. Okay, so we know that the green, there are green and blue, and in this ribbon A, the green part is longer. So this is how it will look like. Blue is shorter, green is longer. Okay, and act now, you may want to imagine, or if, let's say, the blue and green parts of ribbon B are exactly the same as those of ribbon A, what would happen? You basically would have two equal parts of green and blue. Alright, so A and B would have equal length. But in actual fact, we know that this is not the case in this question. So what should we do? So whatever the difference of 70 centimeter must come from, the very fact that when we compare the blue and blue, B has more or is longer. Likewise, when you compare the green parts and the green parts of both ribbons, the, the green parts on ribbon B must be longer than the green part in ribbon A. Because we were told that the blue parts on ribbon, let's take a look here. So the blue parts on ribbon A uh, B is 18 centimeter longer than the blue part on ribbon A. So meaning to say here, Okay, the difference of 70 must come from when we compare the blue and blue. So B is longer, so this is 18. And the other portion of this must come from the fact that is when we compare the both the green parts on both ribbons. Right? So we have one important information right now. That is 70 take away 18. That gives us 52. That is the green parts on ribbon B is 52 centimeter longer than the green part on ribbon A. See it? So let's put things in perspective right now. So combining the blue, okay, and the green parts, so this is how ribbon B should look like. Okay, bear in mind that I have this blue from A and then this green from A. Okay, so at this point in time, we cannot make any comparison because I don't know the value of this lighter tone blue that is the blue part of A and also the the green part of ribbon A. So what should we do? Take a look at this piece of information because this is where the green part and the blue part can be linked up. Okay, the green part is 24 centimeter longer. So I can express everything in terms of blue and 24. So I do away with this green part. Let's take a look here. So here, green, I can represent it in terms of blue, one block of blue plus 24. So likewise, I do that for ribbon B. So right now, the answer is right in front of you. So if you cannot see it, it's okay. We can put, we can stack them up on top of each other. Let's take a look. Blue, this is the portion and then this is how the green portion of ribbon B would look like. So we have the value for all this, 18, 24, and 52. So what we don't have is this to lighter tone blue. It doesn't matter. Because remember why I said the question is only asking for the difference between the green and the blue. So basically the difference is this part here. Alright? 
So there you go. Number sentence, you just need to take 24 plus 52 and then take away 18. So this is the also concept of constant difference as you go up to P5 and P6. This is what you will learn. So the same concept, but in a very much simpler form. That's it. That's your answer. 58. I hope that you enjoy this video. Trying to keep things short and sweet here. So it's just a three step solution. But in order to understand the three steps, you can use model to actually help you visualize it better. So that's it. I hope you enjoy and do give me a like if you is beneficial or you like this video or, or this like if you find that I'm not um not, not getting to the point. So I hope to see you around. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.